Hi everyone, welcome to this Rick and Payroll video. Today, we'll be covering the Pay Setup feature. The Employee Pay Setup is a great way for you to save time from having to re-enter an employee's pay details every time you create a pay run. It allows you to add pay items such as earnings, allowances, deductions, and more to an employee so that they are automatically pre-filled when that employee is added into a pay run. This is particularly helpful when you have several employees to pay within a single pay run and avoids you having to manually add each pay item and their respective balances each and every time. Let's take a look at how you can use the pay setup functionality. Select an employee, then click on the pay option in their profile. Click on Edit to start adding some pay items to the employee's pay setup. First, enter the employee's hourly base rate or annual salary. If an annual salary is entered, the equivalent base rate will be calculated based on the number of standard hours worked per week that has been entered in the employment section for the employee. It's important to understand the employee's pay frequency and standard hours per week will be used to determine the total amount of earnings that is automatically calculated and pre-filled. In this example, you'll see this employee works 38 standard hours per week and has a fortnightly pay frequency. So in this case, the quantity for this earning item is 76 hours. This can also be edited manually if you wish. You can also use the drop-down to change the earning item and also add additional items if required. Add any further items that are relevant to the employee, such as allowances, deductions, salary sacrifice, etc. When you're finished, click on the Save and Finish button and your pay setup will be saved and ready to go. Now, let's take a look at how to use the pay setup in a pay run. Create a pay run as normal and select the Use Default Pay Items option so that the pay setup is used. If any other employees included in the pay run do not have pay setup information added, you'll just need to manually add their pay details into the pay run. As you'll see, the pay run for this employee has been automatically pre-filled from the pay items and balances that we entered in their pay setup. You can amend any pay details that have been pre-filled from the pay setup or add to it by selecting the edit icon against the respective employee then make any changes as you normally would. When you're ready, complete the pay run as normal by marking it as paid and sending the associated STP submission. Thank you so much for watching. Check out our playlist linked in the description for more how-to videos on Rick and Payroll. And for more help and support, please visit us at help.reckon.com or join our community at community.reckon.com.